Jambo na karibu kwenye kipindi chetu cha leo Youth in Action tunaye Masi Atieno Olilo ambaye ni mekanik wa magari. Mimi ni Nyangweso, karibuni. Haya Masi hebu tueleze. Ni nini kilikupa motivation ya kufanya hii kazi? Nikiwa mdogo mm-hmm. nilipenda kwenda penye babangu anafanyia kazi ya ufundi wa magari. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo babako alikuwa Ali, alikuwa mechanic. Ah, okay. Eh, sana nilikuwa na enjoy sana venye anafanya kazi mm-hmm. na kapo na admire tu. Namwambia baba mimi nikikuwa mkubwa, mimi mm. nitafanya hii kazi. Yeah. Alikuwa nadhani na namchezea. Na, na mhm. Mm. Okay, sawa. Uli umefanya hii kazi kwa muda mgani? Saizi ni miaka tatu Miaka tatu Yeah, nikifanya hii kazi. Okay. Eh, kwa hivyo ni... sasa hivi kwa miaka ngapi? ni kwa miaka 26. Alafu hebu niambie, umekuwa umekuwa ukitaka kuwa mechanic for this long ama ilikuwa kuna ndoto nyingine ambayo ulikuwa nayo mbeleni? Nilikuwa na hiyo ndoto ya kuwa mechanic. Mm-hmm. Juu pia ukiangalia mm-hmm. kwa familia yetu. Mm-hmm. Ni na, natoka kwa familia tuko tuko tu na vijana wawili. Mm-hmm wenye wamebaki ni wasichana wasichana saba vijana wawili mm-hmm. na kwa watoto wetu wote hakuna mwenye alikuwa amependelea kuchukua kazi ya baba ndipo mm-hmm. sasa mimi nikasema mimi nitafanya kazi ya baba mm-hmm. eh hebu niambie kuhusu kazi yako like experience yako kufanya hii kazi imekuwa vipi hii kazi yangu mm-hmm. naipenda juu ndi inanilisha mm-hmm. inalipa bills zangu sana ipenda kwa zinaifanya out of passion si kulazimishwa nayo ni kitu yenye nilipenda tangu utotoni na pia hata kama naifanya kuna challenges zingine napitia huko unapata client ameleta gari yake before hata uanze ku, kuitengeneza atakuangalia aanze za utaweza kweli huyu mm-hmm. hata kuna nguvu kweli huu ni kama tu slay queen mm-hmm. utamfanyia kazi angalie venye unafanya kazi cause kuna vitu zingine kama kama ili ili utighten hizo nuts and bolts you'll have to hard talk sasa tunakuaga na pipes zingine zenye tunaongeza nazo talk ambapo mimi nikikaza hata mwanaume atakuwa na shida kuifungua. Mm. Kabisa impressive. Aya, so this is a male dominated uh, field of work, si ndio? Yeah. Wanaume ni wengi. Sasa umepata challenges gani kuwa mwanamke katika hii field? Kwa hii field yetu mara ya kwanza ukiingia wanaume wata make fun mm-hmm. of you. Wengine watasema, "Ah, mimi nimepata bibi. Huyo nisipate mtu." anakuangalia wengine wanaongea vibaya a huyu amekuja tu kuchukua namba zaezi lakini ukiendelea 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 waoneti kuna venye unafanya hiyo kitu yenye unafanya na ro moja wanaanza wanakuwa marafiki zako sasa hizo mambo machafu machafu hawakuambii hizo za anakuseduce vitu kama hizo mm. secondly hizi overall zenye tunava inatufanya tuna tunaka the same ukishavaa overall vitu zako za kazi si eti niseme for example nimevaa nguo ya kubana yenye ita confuse akili ya mtu mm. ukiva hivi unaka simple mm. unaweza kaa kila pahali unaweza lala chini ya gari yani uko tu kama wao hadi wanarudi wanakuzoea mm. na kazi yako ya tatu pia hii kazi yetu ahitaji kula vitu nyepesi kama spaghetti yeah. sijui nini nini uh-huh. unakula energy giving food ili ukue energetic cause siwezi nikakula mchele ama supergate na nifungue hizo manats and balls mm. sitakuwa na nguvu 
Na kweli. Kabisa. Alafu sasa nyumbani. Wewe ni mwanamke una majukumu yako nyumbani pale. How do you juggle that? Being a mechanic na pia mwanamke wa nyumba. Hmm. Maisha ni kujipanga na kila kitu lazima iwe na ratiba. Nikitoka kule nikitoka job story ya nyumbani na yani story ya job na baki job. Nikienda kwa nyumba sasa ni story ya nyumba. Mm-hmm. Nafanya vitu zangu, story ya simu ya job hiyo sasa nakata. Mm-hmm. Eh, vitu kama hizo. Job pia nikiwa mm-hmm. sikumbuki nyumbani, ni kazi ya job ndio na concentrate. Eh. na familia yako inachukuliaje kazi yako? Your parents, your siblings, maybe your partner, wanachukuliaje kazi yako? Mara kwanza nikianza mm-hmm. na babangu. Mm-hmm. Kitambo niki, nikiwa mtoto nikimwambia baba mimi nitakuwa mechanic kama wewe. Mm-hmm. Being that nilikuwa mdogo alikuwa anacheka tu anasema sawa. Na venye niliendelea ku grow, ku grow. Ilipata kama nimemaliza form 4, kumaliza form 4 wenye wananifuata pia walikuwa wengi nyuma yangu akasema ngoja kwanza ni sikume wenzako mbele ndio nitakupeleka college nikasema sawa Nika, nikabatika kupata sponsor Vusha Dream Project nilipopata nilienda nika discuss na babangu nikamwambia baba nimepata sponsors na wana sponsor courses kama air dressing, catering, mechanic na electric wiring. Babangu aliniambia mimi sasa nataka uende kwa hospitality. Mm-hmm. Endu usome hospitality juu unaona kupika au mbaya kwa jikoni. Nikamwambia baba hapana, mimi nataka tu nifanye mechanic. Akasema pana, mimi hata kama unachagua hiyo mechanic sipendi nikamwambia sawa nilipoenda wa YMCA nikapewa form kupewa form mi nikajaza mechanic mm-hmm. nikaendelea na masomo yangu akisikia nikiojiwa kwa studio Nairobi eti mimi ni mechanic akasikia jinake hapo mm-hmm. ndiye alifurahia akasema kama nilichuzi hiyo kazi out of passion mm-hmm. niendelee tu hapo ndiye alijua kazi yenye nasomea wa YMCA na ilimfurahisha zaidi mm. na amekuwa kini encourage kila mara fanya tu hiyo kazi mm. uki, uki, ukitoa wa, wa muzi wako haukuofia kwamba utatengwa ama kitu kama hicho si kuofia mm-hmm. juu pia ukikutana na mtu unakutana na mtu first atakuuliza you are occupation mm-hmm. utamwambia ama mechanic ukimwambia you are a mechanic atashtuka kushtuka kitu yenye na ring kwa mind yake venye una work karibu na wanaume mm-hmm. si wanaume wataninyang'anya wewe sasa hiyo pia imeleta shida sana mm-hmm. na pia niki, nikirudi kwa babangu juu yeye amekuwa kwa hiyo field of automotive yeye akwa nataka akiwa na reason yake ti mekani kukuaga na lugha chafu tabia mbaya sasa wata spoil daughter wake mm-hmm. batizo akuniambia reason siku hizi ndio nikiwa hapo kwa field naona nasema yes hizi ndio tabia zenye maana baba alikuwa na nikataza nisi ende kwa mechanic mm-hmm. yeah alafu kitu kingine ni the dangers of this work na mimi kwamba kila kazi ina ugumu wake. Mm. So you as a lady have mm. you ever encountered some dangers za kufanya hii kazi? Una heavy lifting vitu kama hivyo. So have you ever encountered such dangers? Yes. Uh-huh. Like uh, sasa tukifungua engine. Mm. Kuna vitu kama engine gearbox. Hiyo sasa inahitajiki teamwork. Auwezi ukafanya peke yako. Mm-hmm. Sasa mko watu wengi mnafanya as a team then tena shida ingine hii kazi ukiwa mgonjwa level of performance itarudi chini mm-hmm. maybe let's say eti nikiwa menstruation period mm-hmm. niko na bl- niko na pain chini ya tumbo mm-hmm. itarudi performance mm-hmm. 
Okay. Yeah. Na sasa uh, ukiwa na tatizo kama hilo, how does your boss take that? Does he understand you ama anaendelea tu anakuambia wewe fanya kazi yako ama vitu vingine? Nashukuru niko na boss mwenye ana understand. Mm-hmm. Akiona uko mgonjwa, anaelewa huyu ni mgonjwa. Atakupea off. Uende u relax. Ama pia kama utaki ku relax kozu ukishajua ukishajoya jua kali pia mm. kuka kwa nyumba ni ngumu sana <laughs> una feel tu ukae hapa hata kama we ni mgonjwa mm. so utaka tu hapo lakini pia aizi akakuacha bure mm-hmm. na thank god niko na boss mzuri sana mwenye ana understand anafanya na binadamu wenzake mm. hatuachagi bure okay yeah. kwa sasa hivi na train wasichana na train wa bulana uko mwanzo mwanzo watu walijua wanaume ndio wanafanya hii kazi peke yao but uh, kwa sasa hivi kuna wasichana wanakuja wanakuwa mechanic pia na kwa sasa hivi naona wanaende, wanafanya vizuri hata kushinda wanaume na wachaji tu kuna school fee ambao na wachaji wakishaingia hapa wana train paka wakwe wajue kazi naweza advise kila mtu mwenye ako willing kukua kujitegemea atafute kazi ambayo anajifeel like to train afanye training ajue training alafu kisha atajikuwa anajitegemea Hi Masi hebu nikuulize do your clients allow you to do a test drive for their car Yeah mm-hmm. after nishamaliza kutengeneza gari lazima nipeleke gari road test ni drive short distance nikia nikitega niki masikio nisikie bado kuna shida ama shida imeisha cause nikimaliza tu kutengeneza gari hivi na nipe client mm. anaweza toka nayo alafu nipigie simu kuna shida nyingine sa mimi after nishamaliza kutengeneza natoa overall yangu vizuri cause maybe nililala chini overall yangu ni chafu lazima niitoe nikishatoa naingia kwa gari napeleka gari road test kama kuna shida yoyote narekebisha kama iko napea client gari yake na mwambia gari iko sawa kwa hivyo upati tatizo kwa ku, kupa, kufanya test drive na gari ya client hakuna wenye wanakataa maybe ati a a sikuamini kitu kama hicho wenye wanakataa hmm. client atakataa akikuona venye uko hmm maybe nimechaka sana na sheets za client ni white obvious atakubali niingie kwa gari yake na nguo chafu mm. eh hapo tu ndinaleta gashida mm. eh i left my car here uh, this morning he was fixing for me the springs he has done it i've come back i found everything is in order and uh, even the customers uh, who have been bringing their vehicles here anytime you leave your car here it is safe The work is good and uh, is guaranteed. In fact, uh, I'm very happy with him uh, uh, including uh, ladies in his mechanics because uh, one thing we have to accept that uh, the constitution empowers everybody irrespective of the gender. And uh, George has incorporated women. This is an example of a garage whereby women should also emulate and they should also they should say that what women can do, men can do, what men can do, women can do. Alafu uliongelea vocational trainings ulisema kwamba you were trained kuna any progression beyond that kama kuna level fulani alafu level nyingine na nyingine iko uh-huh. baada ya kumaliza YMCA uh-huh. ilipata nimeanza attachment yangu hapo ndio nilibatika kusponsorwa na Toyota Toyota Kenya Academy Nairobi wali advertised ni apply ku apply nilichukuliwa nikaanza kutreniwa nimetreniwa six modules mm-hmm. yenye imebeba kila kitu kwa six module kuna body work mm-hmm. kuna basics in electric wiring ya magari yani imebeba kila kitu basics ya magari mm-hmm. eh Masi, hebu tuambie hapo penye uko kazi. Kuna wasichana wengine wanarika wanzako ama ni wanaume tu afu wewe msichana peke yako. 
kuna mmoja anaitwa Nifa Nifa eh yeah, ali alijiunga nami mm. juu babake alifurahia kazi yangu mtoto wake alipomaliza class 8 akasema ah analeta mtoto kwa bosi wangu juu mzazi wake alikuwa na admire kazi yangu venye nafanya akasema ye pia anataka msichana wake afanye kazi karibu na mimi kuna hiki kitu ambacho wanawake hawapendani katika kazi mnapitia kitu kama hicho wewe na yeye the competition between women in at work mimi b- venye na work na nifa tumechutunaita na madada dadangu tuko watu waine mm-hmm. tuko wasichana wawili vijana wawili plus my boss tuko watu five waga tumechukuliana kama brothers and sisters sasa sisi waga tumependana tu issue inatokaga kwa watu wa nje mm-hmm. mtu akikupraise wa as ladies tunakuaga na wivu mtu akikuencourage ama aseme hey nadmayaga venye masi ufanya kazi sana unapata mtu na feel offended ni kama umeambia huyo mtu kuambie hivyo mm. sasa vitu kama hizo iko what yeah. are your future ambitions about the work ama what else do you in, uh, uh, require to do in future in future mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa na plan ku own big spare part shop eh. mm. na pia ku encourage wasichana wenzangu mm. na kuwa motivate wa join he feel their automotive mm. ni nini kizuri tutapata hapo sisi wasichana wenzako tukiingia kwa hiyo field utakuwa unajitegemea mm-hmm. au utakuwa eti una slay na pesa ya mtu okay eh utakuwa unajitegemea unalipa bills zako vizuri hata kama wenye niseme umepata partner wako mara nyingi kitu yenye uwagi naleta matatizo kwa nyumba za watu mm-hmm. ni ugomvi maybe unataka ku depend fully kwa partner wako mm-hmm. we hata pesa ya chumvi ndio uwezi ukatoa unapewa kila kitu from a to z lakini akileta maybe analipa school fee na we unanunua chakula na nguo za watoto ugomvi na kuwa less na maishi na kwa tam sana. Hey, okay. Yeah. Haya, wewe ni mwanarika you are a youth. So yeah. what do you have to tell your fellow youths about uh, independence and uh, maybe working to better their lives? Kitu yenye naezaimiza nayo wana youth mm-hmm. wasichague kazi. Kazi ni kazi. Siku hizi ya kuneti kazi ya mwana kijana ama kazi ya wanawake. Hakuna kazi ni kazi bora tu wakiwa na passion ukiwa na passion kwa kitu utaifanya na roho moja na utazoea kama mimi nimezoea kutengeneza gari mtu atakuangalia semeti ah na siwia naumia na mimi niko tu comfortable juu najua the procedures to be followed nikitaka kufungua kitu sana i find easy utabaki umeniangalia sana nafanya kazi ngumu lakini mimi niko tu sawa Mm. Kwa hivyo wasichague kazi. Wasichague kazi yeah. na ikiwezekana wanafaa ku join vocational training centers. Mhm. Eh cuz ukishatrainiwa ni pesa yenye unapata after usha maliza training yako. Sieti u, u, kazi ya ofisi, offices zimeja. Na wenye wako kwa offices pia hawataki ku sasa kama wanataka white collar job watafanya kwa ofisi gani? Mm-hmm. Hakuna. Saeri usome kazi yako ya mkono na uifanye na uslay na pesa yako badala ya kuslay na pesa ya mtu. Na maisha inakuwa sawa kabisa. Asante sana Masi. Haya wanadada mmesikia? Slay na pesa zako. Usiombe sponsor pesa, slay na pesa zako. Mimi ni Nyangweso Grenis. This has been the Youth in Action show. Tonane tena. Asante. This is the way to do it. This is the way